The Geneva Conventions govern conduct in armed conflicts. They are intended to protect civilians, prisoners of war, the wounded and those who help them. As the Syrian crisis developed, you could see how all types of violence took shape. And we can confirm that sexual violence has sometimes been turned into a weapon of war. The Hazam, the main armed movement of the Syrian secular opposition, pledged in 2014 to ensure that none of its fighters use sexual violence. A representative of the NGO Geneva Call, Youssef Webe, led the negotiations with the armed group. Contacts with Hazam had been going on since the movement was created. We organized training in Syria on international humanitarian law. Hazam said it wanted to sign up to the commitments of the Geneva Accord supporting humanitarian law. This was an opportunity for the movement to improve its image through their commitment to respecting humanitarian standards, particularly in relation to sexual violence. It wasn't until the 4th Geneva Convention of August 1949 and Section 27 that there was a designation of sexual crime, including rape and forced prostitution, as being something that was prohibited. The meeting with the senior Hazem representatives took place in Geneva. Traditionally, Geneva Call signs agreements in the Alabama Room at City Hall. The Alabama Room is a historic location. It's become symbolic after the first Geneva Convention on International Humanitarian Law was signed there. The message to all factions of the Syrian Free Army is that this is the way forward and it's imperative to respect human dignity. Non-state entities do not have the right to sign up to the Geneva Conventions. They sign commitments and it's a way for them to show that they themselves have decided to respect the rules of international humanitarian law. Amidst all the ignominious acts of war, where killing is unfortunately permitted, it's important every day that people work to minimize suffering. If war is not governed by certain rules, humanity is stripped of its meaning.